What Biden has done is the worst of all possible worlds. He's prolonged the war, Israel's war, to actually take out Hamas. But in the process, he's made it harder for us to really move towards a sustainable peace. Russia would not have invaded Ukraine if Donald Trump had been president. Everybody agrees with it. Even a lot of my Democratic colleagues privately agree with that. But here, here's the issue, Sean, is we've now spent $200 billion. What's the goal? What are we trying to accomplish? Is there a risk of escalation in the nuclear war? Because there is when you have a buffoon running foreign policy, and we've got a lot of them right now in Washington, D.C. I think what President Trump has promised to do is go in there, negotiate with the Russians and Ukrainians, bring this thing to a rapid close so that America can focus on the real issue, which is China. That's the biggest threat for our country, and we're completely distracted from it. The Democrats want to try to run from this, and they're saying that you know Joe Biden has to step down or Joe Biden can't run for president. That's not public spiritedness. That's political cynicism because they should have been saying it three years ago. And now a place alongside Donald Trump on the 2024 Republican ticket. Right, I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. There is definitely an element of Donald Trump's support that has its basis in racism or xenophobia. I don't know who I'm going to vote for. I'm definitely not going to vote for Trump. Because I've, but I've noticed uh, this willingness from people who think a lot like I do that, look, we told you so. To all these white working class voters, we told you so. We told you that Trump was going to be a terrible candidate. We told you that you were an idiot if you voted for him. And, and definitely some people who voted for Trump were racist and they voted for him for racist reasons. I always resist the idea that the real thing driving most Trump voters was racial anxiety or, or racial animus, partially because I, I didn't see it, right? I mean, the thing that really motivated people to vote for Trump, first in the primary and then in the general election, was three words, jobs, jobs, jobs. And for Senate in Ohio as a Republican. That's when he unveiled a new persona. Trump defender. Are we having a good time? Is it great to have the president back in Ohio? I did change my mind about Donald Trump. He was a great president. He's been the greatest president of my lifetime. I have absolutely got to thank the 45th, the president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. <laughs>